Hello everyone, Vlaric here from Unfair.co, and in this video we're going to cover the mission. The, and in this video we're going to cover the uncertainty principle. From Mr. Sandy Moose Jensen here in Kingsmith Town, right outside the police station. So let's start out with the opening cinematic, shall we? Good coffee, Andy. You sure know how to make a man happy. Why, thanks, Sandy. It's, uh, all I did was fill it with water and change the filter, but I appreciate it. Well, the offer still stands, Andy. When this is all over, you're welcome to hop on the back of my bike and go explore the open road together. Ah, geez, thanks. I'm sure it'd be fun, but I couldn't leave this town or Sheriff Helen. It'd just feel wrong. Well, I respect that about you. You're a good man, and any woman would be lucky to have you. Well, uh, there hasn't been any, uh, but that doesn't mean I, uh, I, uh, ah, uh, jeez, I'm sorry. Relax, my friend. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Well, hey, look who's back. Got a Joe? The deputy and I were just discussing the war effort. Looks like we're having mixed success. Now, back before I found the open road, I made my living as a financial analyst on Wall Street. It wasn't life for me, but it taught me some important things about numbers and statistics. With enough trial, plenty of error, I've been able to gauge the effects of my weapons of mass destruction. Now, from what I can tell, no one shoe fits all. And depending on the tools, different screws turn at different speeds. What the heck does that mean? It means those creatures out there react differently to the weapons. Some have tolerance for fire and heat. Others are easily brought down by shrapnel. And I've made a list. Different folks, different strokes, as they say. Andy, that's the wisest thing I've heard anyone say today. <laughs> different folks, different strokes. Oh, uh, this game can be dirty. All right, so first we've got to read his notes about improvised weapons. We all know he's the weapon man. Battery acid grenade launcher, that sounds like fun. Chemical fire extinguisher, electric ray gun. Hmm. I think I like the battery acid grenade launcher. That'd be my personal favorite. But let's get the quantum core out of his little package here. And begin our search here. So, the first one is going to be a spring, which is going to be just inside here. Ta-da! Ma mattress spring. Yay! Up next, we have the car battery next to the can of bingo soda. And finally, the metal tube is going to be out here next to the portal, porta potty. Right next to where Sandy was. So now that we have all those pieces, yes, lots of purples. I am on test live, don't freak out. <laughs> uh, it's time to assemble it. So the order here is going to be core on the far left, followed by the tube, then the spring, and then on the right is going to be the, ba yeah, the battery. And that will give you your battery acid grenade launcher. Just drag this to shift three for now. That's new. Keybinds. I like it. So now we need to test the battery acid grenade launcher on zombies. Damn it. Beat me to it. So, test away. Rawr. Really on 50? This is going to take a while. <laughs> I'm going to show the graphic for a few of them. Oh damn, that's big. And that looks awesome. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you're going to shoot it off at 50 zombies and then... Dun, 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 it shall break. So, I shall skip forward to that part. But first, one more time. 
Just because that's freaking amazing. Boom. Before you get to 50, I got to 6, your weapon will break. So now you need to disassemble it. Dun dun dun, disassemble. And you get your core back. Now it's time to acquire a fire extinguisher and some chemicals. These are going to be found in the firehouse. So away we go. You will find the chemicals just to the left of the firehouse when you approach it, inside the green bin. And the fire extinguisher is going to be inside, next to some shelves. Don't remember which shelves, I'm assuming they're upstairs, so bear with me here, sorry. Oh, fire extinguisher, where are you? There we go. these guys. And we pick up our fire extinguisher. Now you need to assemble a chemical fire extinguisher. So this is going to be kind of an L-shaped with the core in the upper left. Under that is going to be the fire extinguisher and then to the right is going to be the chemicals. So now it's time to test this weapon against up to 50 enemies, but you won't get that high. Oh, I need some closer range. Whee! White mist. <laughs> Spraying white stuff at him. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm sorry if this offends anybody. Hey buddy, how you doing? Whee. Um. <laughs> okay, his corpse still wanted to swing at me. And I apparently missed. There we go. Alright, if it triggers at 6 like last time, this should be the last one. Still going. There we go. And it broke again, so time to disassemble once more to get your core back. And time to go get a metal rod, copper wire, and some rifle parts. So it will bring you outside this scrapyard. Upon arriving at the building, you will find the materials scattered all around the house, so just go ahead and gather it up. Nothing too difficult here. Rifle, rod, and wires. All nicely clumped up together. So now you need to assemble it into an electrical ray gun. So you're going to have the core, and then below it the rifle, and then on the right side the rod followed by the wires. And you have electric ray gun. Now let's go fry some things, shall we? Into the scrapyard we go. Hi Edgar, hi Cash, hi Tango, don't mind us. We're just frying some electrical things. Try to do that from a little further away. Boom. <laughs> Zap. Zap. Battle the Deviant something. Um, there's a Deviant something. Ah, there he is. 
Alright, fight time. No cool weapon for this one? Yeah, I'd throw go for it here. Alright, so this guy's not too bad. He's got some cool attacks. Really cool looking attacks. And they shall be yours soon enough. He just is not dying here. There we go. Now to disassemble the broken electric gun. And you get your core back. Again. So now you need to examine the fried core, which you do by simply right clicking on it. Pretty picture. Although it's quite fried. So let's have Edgar take a look at it. He is a mechanic after all. Or he resides in a scrapyard at least. Gotta count for something, right? Let's talk to him about quantum mechanics, because he totally looks like the guy for the job. I'm supposed to get an update. Hello. There we go. Transformators and tiny hovering beeper creepers. Satan on a stick. I've been taking them apart and tinkering and ripping them apart again. Now I tried to make the insides all jive with the short bus, but she was having none of it. Too fancy for my baby girl. <laughs> so uh, I started tinkering behind her back. Shh. Don't you tell her now. <laughs> what we're aiming towards here is a full-on specified station of quantum motors. That's just like regular motors, except with fancier figuring, you know? For now, this is all simply, uh, Theo's reticle. You following me? Fawn sample. Take these two hickeys here, hmm? No, 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 don't touch it. Jesus Christ and his virgin mama. I ain't done explaining yet. This here is sensitive to the most probable of the infant tits at any given point in time. You understanding me? It works on the uncertainly principle. Means I ain't even certain it'll work yet. <laughs> but 
Supposing you had enough power and perfect symmetries to channel the infantis, well then, <laughs> whoo, boy, oh boy. <laughs> now I reckon all this science talk's making your brain hurt. Shit, I know the feeling. <laughs> Been feeling that feeling all my life, friend. <laughs> I mean, if those little shits in middle school could, could see me now, Edgar ain't got much upstairs. <laughs> He's feeble. <laughs> He's a retard. He'll never amount to nothing, that Edgar. <laughs> little fuckers. Look who's still alive. Look who's got a ride out of this fucking mess. Look who's tinkering with quantum motors. The retard, that's who. <laughs> yeah, the fucking retard. Please ignore my French, but my mama told me to take pride and call myself a retard so the other kids wouldn't have power over me. So if it offends you, <clears throat> well then, just go fuck yourself. I like that I smiled while he was looking at me and then I just gave him a giant ass frown. <laughs> Alright, so next we examine the notes on the table. Guts to halves for a final virgin. Yo. <laughs> Pick up incomplete weapon. Hello, incomplete weapon. Use the fried quantum core to quantum charge a roaming golem. That would be... Joink. And joink. Shift five. Alright, so, roaming golem. Let's find one. Here's one. Hey, buddy. Zap. Oh, our deviant friend is back. die they will dry quantum bits like regular bits except quantitized uh, 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 that was not funny at all I'm terrible I know hush all right so you're gonna need to kill eight golems after supercharging them all right and we finally have our eighth piece so now it's time to assemble it the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna put the fried quantum core in the very middle and you're going to completely surround it with all eight little bits and you'll get your upgraded quantum core. Now you need to use the upgraded quantum core on a roaming golem. And look, we happen to have a volunteer. Hello, good golem. I didn't mean to do that. Use it. There we go. Alright, so now I need a, bar, a little supercharged combustor. Which didn't take long, so now we need to blow up the deviant. Decoherence. Decoherence. Oh, he likes to move. And has very shiny attacks. I want shiny attacks. Fury. Are we done moving, buddy? Oh, no. There he goes. Alright. With him down, we get some anima charged particles. Anima charged particles. Collect. Thank you, and we need to assemble the final weapon. Which is going to be the core in the middle. Particles left and fin right. Nope. That's the way. There we go. And we get our quantum brace. 
Congratulations, you have completed 30 missions and been awarded. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. That, that lets you know how many missions I've done on test live, so that's completely unrelated to the quest. But here is the reward. Text for the dragon class. And additionally, you get the quantum brace. Now for a list of all the attacks that you can do and their animations check out the video in the description below and yeah thanks for watching guys until next time